Hey, and good afternoon. I'm so excited that you guys have joined me today. This is Angela Brown, and I am here with Deborah LeBlanc. And she is a certified hypnotherapist, and she's an entrepreneur and a professional motivational speaker, travels all over the world. She's got a certified master in hypnotherapy, and she's a master NLP practitioner. Now, one of the things that I'm really excited to share with you today is that Deborah has a really interesting personal story that she's sharing with us her personal experience. And because of her background in hypnotherapy, and I'm a huge fan of hypnotherapy myself, so I was hoping she could share with us some of the solutions that she herself has found. So please help me welcome Deborah LeBlanc. Thank you, Angela. How are you today? I'm doing great. Thank you. So tell us about the hypnotherapy. If somebody was unfamiliar with hypnotherapy, and you said there are three different types or three different types of ther uh, hypnotherapists, yeah, right. if somebody is unfamiliar and they don't have any idea where to start, where's a good launch pad for them to start even just exploring it to, to maybe take action in their own personal lives? They can do exactly what I did when I was looking for gravel. They can Google it. But don't be surprised if you wind up with something completely irrelevant that pops up, click on it. You never know, right? Google you hypnotherapy and look into it. Study it. Look at who's doing what. When you're looking for a hypnotherapist, you want to find out what type of education did they have? How long were they in school? Is the school they attended accredited by the Department of Education. How many clinical hours did they have that they serve? Those are all very critical things when you have people that's messing with your head. I never use a pendulum. I never use a clock. I don't do hypnosis that way. I use breathing to help people relax and just start feeling their body. We have to connect the mind back with the body because when you go through trauma like that, it disconnects. You're feeding the body when your stomach starts hurting so bad from hunger, you'll feed it whatever. You just throw something in it and just enough so you don't wind up throwing up, put it bluntly. You drink if your body starts craving it. And hypnotherapy helps you to start regulating again your mind back to your body to take care of it, to feed it. There are still people on this planet that are breathing that need you. They need you. They love you. They care about you. They're worried about you. And they need you. If anybody is out there watching or listening and they say, well, I really don't have any family. I don't have anybody in my life. You never know who will come into your life. All, mm -hmm. If you wake up and just pay attention to the world, there is someone out there who is going through what you've been through and needs your help. They need your help. And life will have a way of bringing them in your path. If for nothing else, we have to get past ourselves and reach out to s reach out to help others. I think that's why we're all here to help others. And that's what you do, Angela. You help so many people with what you do. And I think we all have a purpose in this life to help others in one shape, one form, fashion. One of the things that you said that I think is really important is that you on your own personal journey pursued the hypnotherapy. Yeah. And you said, because you were hurting yourself. And I think it's fair to say that everybody is going through different things in their lives where everybody's hurting in a little bit different ways. And yeah. like you said, everybody has something to offer, but also everybody has something to gain. And I think it's a really interesting study because nobody's perfect and nobody's immune from the aches and pains of the world. If you live long enough, there's going to be sorrow. There's going to be pain. You experienced a narcissistic husband relationship that wasn't healthy for you. And so you went through a divorce. That in and of itself is a lot of trauma and a lot of pain, even before the other pain that you've been through in your life. And so how did you decide? Because I mean, there's a moment where you decide like, hey, wait, I've, I've had enough of this. I'm not going to do this anymore. How did you decide that, you know what, I'm worthy, I deserve a happy life, and I'm not tolerating this anymore, and goodbye? It took a long time. I was married to this guy for 35 years. Wow. My parents separated when I was eight years old, and I was raised by a verbally and physically abusive mother. I thought my worth was in what I did, not in who I was. So, of course, he was a nice guy. I was friends with his sister. I'd go and hang out at her house. 
Her brother got interested. He was four years older than I was, and we wound up getting married. I was 16. He was 19. Yes, I was 16 years old. My father begged me not to. And finally, he capitulated and said, look, if you can wait one year, I'll sign the papers for you to get married. Because he was confident after a year, this was was a phase. I would get over it. it. But it didn't happen. But I have to say, if I wouldn't have gone through that, I wouldn't have had my daughters. And that was worth any pain with those three girls. I wouldn't have my oldest daughter now. Deborah, tell us, if you will, where our listeners can go to find you beyond just the hypnotherapy. They can find me at mindpaththerapies.com. Go to the website and just click contact, and that will lead you right to my email address and my phone number. Thank you so much for joining us today. This has been really enlightening, and I just, I really appreciate your authenticity and your willing to share with us your experiences and your story. Because I know that there are a lot of people that are joining us here today that have similar or some elements that that there's pain and they don't know how to get through that. So your willingness to share with us is just a godsend. So thank you so much. Uh, My pleasure. Thank you for having me.